What is going on everyone? Nozu for you here and today we have a final review of the tier 10 steel ship Shikoshima. And I think I've covered this ship twice in the past already at this point, maybe three times, I, I don't know. I, I've covered it a lot. I've talked about it a lot. I mean, it's kind of hard to ignore a Yamato with 510 millimeter guns. But here we are. We're talking about it once more and the reason for that is because it is is finally making its way to the armory and you're finally able to purchase it for steel if you want it so let's talk about a couple of the stats real quick one last time just a little refresher so you know what you're getting into first and foremost your survivability you've got 97,200 hit points now the biggie here the artillery you've got 510 millimeter shells those things are the size of steers actually I think that was the Bismarck that had shells the size of steers. Isn't that the Johnny Horton song? Anyhow, mo <laughs> yeah, forget about that. Uh, <laughs> main battery firing range, 26.6 kilometers, and your secondaries are going to be the same as the Yamato at 11.6 kilometers when they're fully maxed. In fact, everything about this ship is pretty much the exact same as the Yamato with the exception of your guns. Your guns are huge. However, I wouldn't say that this ship is better than the Yamato, and I'll get to that here in a little bit. A defense is pretty good actually, you're a 97 out of 100. For your maneuverability, maximum speed is 28.4 knots with Sierra to Mike's, 900 meter turning circle, and an 18.7 second rudder shift time. And again, everything is the same as the Yamato for the most part. Just get, get this in your mind, it's a Yamato with bigger guns but fewer guns because you only have six of them so in a way the shikishima is to the yamato what the ohio is to the montana except i think the ohio is comparable if not better than the montana whereas the shikishima in my opinion you know unfortunately i don't think it's better than the yamato in fact i wouldn't choose it over the yamato i would use the yamato instead and the reason for that is the guns, the dispersion, just so wonky. They overpin. I, I mean, 510 millimeters sounds great at first, but when you really look at it, it's not that great. Again, because of the overpin factor and the dispersion. And again, you're only firing six of them. Not only that, the Yamato, when you add the legendary mod to it, it's one of the most accurate battleships in the game. So it's really a case of anything you can do i can do better except it's the yamato saying that to the shikishima so what i'm going to do right now since that's kind of my overall thoughts on it in that i would not want it over the yamato i would choose the yamato instead i'm going to compare it to the other steel ships that we have in the armory because ultimately you're not grinding for this ship well i take that back you are grinding for this ship because you're grinding steel to try and get this ship but you need to know, should you use your steel to get this ship? So let's talk about some of the steel ships we have in the armory right now. Currently, there are three other steel ships in the armory. Those ships are the Burgone, which is a battleship, the Stalingrad, which is a cruiser, and the Summers, which is a destroyer. So when we add Shikishima to this, we're now going to have four ships two of them being battleships. And the Shikishima is going to be the most expensive at 32,000 steel. Burgone is only 30,000 steel. Now, out of these ships, would I take the Shikishima over any one of these? At this point, no, I wouldn't. I, I really wouldn't. Summers, in my opinion, is a great destroyer in many ways better than the gearing. I find a lot of value in the Summers. I think a lot of players find value in the Summers. I really think that the Summers would probably serve you better in a rank setting or a clan battle setting than the Shikishima would. Stalingrad. I, I think most people that have steel probably took the Stalingrad before any other ship. And if you play clan battles, you know that Stalingrad is pretty much the go-to for 50% of the players out there. So really, while I like the Summers a lot, Stalingrad is probably the first ship you should be taking if you take any steel ship at all. Also the Borgone, I would definitely take that over the Shikishima as well. And the reason for that is the Borgone is unique and it is fast, blazing fast. You can run other ships down in that thing. 
And honestly, right now, I regret not taking the Borgone over the Stalingrad. I'm happy I took Summers before I took Borgone, but I wish I'd taken the Borgone before the Stalingrad. I, I just really like battleships. So if you like battleships, it's going to come between the Borgone and the Shikishima. I would not take the Shikishima over the Borgone. And again, the reasons for that being that Yamato is just an overall better ship than the Shikishima. Now, that's not to say that the Shikishima is a bad ship. It's not bad at all. It's just not as good as the Yamato. So why would you take a ship that's not as good as its, I, I guess, sister, sh sister ship? No, it wouldn't even be a sister ship. Sister ship would be the Musashi, which is tier 9. I would say this is a cousin. Why would you take a ship's cousin into battle knowing that it doesn't do as good as a free ship? And yes, Yamato is a free ship. The only thing you have to put into the game to get it is time. And through that time, you get a ship that is better than a steel ship. But again, it's, it's not a horrible ship. And I, I think, well, if you decide to purchase it, if you're a, if you're a collector, you're probably going to want it. If you're one of those people that gets steel fairly easy and you have the other ships, you know, by all means, go after it. You can play it, and you're going to do fine in it. I mean, it, it hits like a tank. Broadside battleships, it'll absolutely peg. Uh, if you're a little too close to some cruisers, you're going to go right through it. Again, the penetration on this thing is insane because they are huge shells. I, I mean, that that is a downside right there. But it, it's not like it's a bad ship. I mean, in fact, it's it's a good ship. Again, it's a Yamato with bigger guns. But, again, <laughs> my overall rating or review of this ship is I, I would not suggest that you get this ship only, only because I feel the Yamato is better. So, it's not a bad ship. Shikishima, if I could give it a rating, you know, I'd probably give it 7 out of 10. Um, it, it's not Yamato level, and Yamato, in my opinion, I mean, while it used to be a really, really good battleship, it has been power crypts lightly, slightly, but it's still a great battleship. So, when you're dealing with another battleship that's on the same platform as the Yamato, of, of course it's going to be a good battleship. So, if you do happen to get it, or you just really feel that you want it for the shells, and just the uniqueness of those shells, and having the biggest shells in the game, you're not going to be disappointed. You really aren't. But you're just not going to get anything over the Yamato, and you need to know that. You need to know that, yes, this is the largest amount of steel you need for any steel ship in the game. And if you do get this ship, you're getting a ship that's not going to be as good as its counterpart. You're getting a ship that, yes, well, you could probably use it in ranked and clans, but you shouldn't. Because, again, the Yamato does everything better, and it's far more accurate, and its shells hit just as hard, and you're not going to overpin quite the way that the Shikishima does. And again, you've also got some very unique steel ships in there, like the Summers, and the Stalingrad, and the Bourgogne. And I imagine if you are wondering whether or not you should get it, if you're looking into these ships, you probably do play clan battles a lot, or rank battles, because you've acquired that steel, which doesn't come easy, and it doesn't come cheap. So, you're obviously looking for a ship that you can do good in under these settings. And I, I just don't think that the Shikishima is going to live up to your expectations for ranked or clan battles. Because, again, and I'm going to say it for probably, what, this is now the 10th time in this video? The Shikishima is just not as good as the Yamato. The Yamato can do just about everything as good or better. You've got more guns. You've got more accurate guns, you've got guns that are less likely to over-penetrate in the Yamato, and you're still going to overmatch everything in the game. So, well, almost. I can't remember. Can it overmatch Kremlin or vice versa? I, I can't remember, honestly. You know, there, there's some things that I'm good at, and uh, remembering the penetration values of every single ship in the game is just one of those things that I don't have the time to do, or the... <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm getting at. Anyhow, that's your final review of the Shikishima. 
you know, I, I would I would give it a 7.5. I'm, I'm going to bump it up a little over a 7. A 7 is just kind of mediocre, average, good, decent. I mean, it's a little better than that. I, I think it's a solid 7.5 out of 10. I mean, it's a good ship. You're not going to be let down by it in any way, shape, or form. It's not going to under... Well, maybe it will underperform a little bit if you're expecting it to be the, like the Yamato. But it's not going to let you down. you still got a massive hit pool. You've still got great armor, good AA, and all that stuff. But I, I just don't feel that it's worth the steal since Yamato's out there. And that's my final review of the Shikishima. Take it for what it's worth. Be sure to watch everyone else's reviews, their videos, so you can make an informed decision before spending that very valuable steal that can be very hard to get for all players. So, anyhow, thanks for watching. Catch you all later. Zoop out.